Hi friends, today I'm doing something a bit, little bit different, a little bit fun. I've made these bits of paper and I'm going to recreate how I've done them. I'm going to use them for ATCs and things. Um, I've cut out a template and I think that looks great as an ATC, doesn't it? So I'm just going to be doing some of these. Look at that one. Oh, I love that. So yes, I'll be doing, a, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to do it using something simple that you should have in your kitchen cupboards. Yes, these are going to be fun. So I've cut out some circles. I've learnt that the softer paper doesn't do too well. It goes all buckly. So I've got some firmer pieces. I've got various colours. I've got mostly white, but I've also got some black pieces. And I've got some scrapbooking paper that's plain on the back. I'm going to use those. So now the item I'm using, I've got all my paints here. Lots of paints, all sorts of colours. I'm going to put those aside. And this is what I'm using. You've probably guessed already. A salad spinner. <laughs> now, I've put in the bottom of the salad spinner some double-sided tape here um, so that I can just pop this. I've cut the circle to fit the base, just about. And I just pop it in and then I just press down a little bit. doesn't matter if it's, if it, if it's completely pressed down, just as long as one bit of it is pressed down. And then I'm just going to go in with some paints. I'm going to use some neutrals, perhaps with a bit of red. That's one of my favourite ones. So now the yellow the squirty thing's gone a bit on that. It's going to pop a bit on there. I'm so enjoying doing... Oh, I meant to put my gloves on. I've just done my nails, you see. I want them to stay, stay nice. I'm just going to use some uh, surgical gloves. Because we'll get acrylic all over them, it gets, gets in the creases of your fingernails and doesn't go away. And I want them nice for the weekend. So, <laughs> gloves on. All right, there we go. Before I get all messy, right, we'll have some of the burnt sienna. So it's a cadmium yellow, a burnt sienna. Now, don't use your good salad spinner if you want to use it to for foodstuffs again because... This isn't good for you. Right, I'm going to just squirt the paper. I find it nicer if I squirt the paper a little bit. And also, if I squish the paint around a little bit, it changes the effect. And then you put your lid on, obviously. And I love salad spinning. I try to have spinach quite often and I use it, my kitchen one for that. But, and then the noisy bit. Sorry, the camera might jerk about a bit as well. Give it a good spin. So that's what I've got so far. Now, quite often the first go, I don't quite like what I've got. So I'm going to add in a bit more of the pink because that's got a bit lost. And I'm going to try and fill up some of this. Oh, there's not much in there. Fill up some of the spaces. Right, what other colour would be nice? How about um, a brighter yellow? Might be good. There. Give that another squirt. And I shan't squish these around. Let's see what happens. And you could just keep going and doing this. It's just so fun and easy. You need to water down your acrylics a bit, I've noticed. Or if you've got cheap acrylics, they'll do better. I use the System 3. Not the camera again. I use these. All right, let's give it a good spin. <laughs> Oh, now that's lovely. Then I can put that aside to dry. I love that. Gorgeous. Right. I'll get it out. There we go. And now let me try a black one because I've made, I've cut out some black ones. Throw them on the floor. 
again that's thicker paper almost cardboard I'm losing the stickiness on the double-sided tape. I don't even know if you need... would help with some painting first, wouldn't it? Now, some bright colours would look very effective on this, I do believe. What should we go for? It's definitely got to be bright colours. So we're going to have some of this lovely yellow again. This time I'm going to go for this more purpley colour. It might be a bit too dark. But then I can put in some white this time and maybe some light blue. Let's see what we end up with. I think this Wedgwood blue might be quite nice. Um, I kind of stick to, oh, I can't get that out. I kind of stick to colourways rather than overdoing the mixing. There we go. There's a lot of paint on there. And again, with the brush, I'm going to smush it around a little bit. And spray. Spraying really has, you can almost see the paint dispersing already. Just helps it to run. Right, this time I'm going to hold it in my arms when I'm doing it because it's a lot easier for me. <laughs> I like that. I oh, look at that one. Wow. Oh my God, that's my favourite. Wow. Isn't that lovely? Well, I can stop the video at this point now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, wow. 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 Let's try the red now. Gosh, that was good. Right. White and darker colours. Mm, then we'll have a, a mid blue. Squish. I think the more paint, the better. And that bit of squishing helps. Now, this isn't new. I haven't invented this. You've probably seen other people do it. But it's something I've been meaning to do for ages. I bought this salad spinner in a charity shop. Oh, do I want yellow on this? Yeah, let's let's go for the brighter yellow because I think that might stand out better. So yes, I saw this in a charity shop recent, well, about two months ago, and I thought, oh yes, I want to do some salad spin art. So yes, I've not invented this by any means. This has been around a long time. So give it a bit of a squish. That really does help. And lots of water I think that makes a difference too it really helps it spread out better there we go I get the lid on oh hoo, hoo, hoo. love it on the red Look, that's gorgeous. Oh, I like them on the coloured paper. Let's try another white one and see if I can make that better. Right, let's go for blues this time. We'll have some Tharlow blue. You use up a lot of paint doing this. What else would be quite nice? Let's have some green with that. Don't need any white because the white of the paper does the job. Bit of a smush round. I think I might need to add a bit more green. The more you do it, the more you get used to how to um, how your how your paints will respond. There, look, see the colours already running. I think more watery paint might be easier, or inks would be nice, but I don't really have many nowadays. Oops. It's ended up on the lid. 
Uh oh. <laughs> okay, what are we? Oh well. <laughs> Let's put that down and try that again. Went a bit all over the place. Done it again. I don't think the tape is working anymore. Still, I don't hate it. It's not worked out quite so well. Right, let's try that again. Get the tape just. Right, try that again now. So it was a bit of the Tharlo. A bit of the light blue. bit of green wasn't it so we're staying with similar colorways because you'd end up with brown if you over mixed your colors a spot of this lovely bright yellow in I think would be quite nice just a little bit a little bit a little smush a squirt of water Yes, it's best not to use your salad spinner for food stuff after this because some of the paints, um, most paints aren't toxic these days, but some are. There we go, I think. It's okay, but it needs a bit of the lighter colour, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of the yellow on top. Sometimes I put more than one layer on if I don't like the results and a little bit of white and then we'll go again that's better maybe do it some more maybe squirt it with some more water I think it might be wet enough. But I'll try that and see. Great, so effective. Put that aside to dry. So I've got some paper next to me, letting it dry. Let's do another red one. I've only got one more piece of red left, so we'll use that. Now, what colours worked well on that? White did, and pale blue did. This time we'll have um, some of the Wedgwood blue as well. Oops, a bit too much of that, never mind. And white. Let's have some of the yellow, the bright yellow. That'll look very effective. And where's the white? Here's the white. So, yes, have fun doing this. Let me know down in the comments, down below if you've done it before, you probably have. I'm probably not showing you anything new. Smush that around a little bit, there's a lot of paint on there. I quite like the smushing effect. And I like the spray effect. Right, let's give this one a go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Lots of bright colours. 
So I'll go for the vibrant yellow this time. I definitely think bright colours suit it. I'm going to put a, put a bit of the burnt sienna on there. Oops, that's very wet. Uh, what else would look nice? I think the brighter... Hmm, let's go for the dioxazine purple. Let's see. Oh, we want some white. Let's put some white on. Whoops, I might be a bit too much. I didn't do any smushing, did I? I don't know what I'm thinking here. Let's do some smushing. And water. Running out of water. part with these things is getting, getting everything lined up. Right, here we go again. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, so pleased with that. Right, I've got to do one more because PM Artist Studio, uh, their group, makers of mixed media art and artists, are doing a colour challenge this month. Now, one of the colours is purple. The other colour is turquoise. Now, I've got green and blue, which I can mix together to make a turquoise. And I'm going to just do those, perhaps with a bit of... I don't know. I say with a bit of white, but there's white on the paper. Let's see what I can get now. So we're going to mix actually on the paper. Shall we? That's the only way I could do it. I haven't got space to do it otherwise. So we're just going to have these three colours. I think those two mixed might. Let's mix it and see if I can get. It's meant to be teal and purple, you see. Too much green, we need loads more blue, don't we? Let's put a dot over there. There we go, that should be enough. And a bit of purple. excited about that one let's try another one just remembered I've got these neon colors and I'm going to try those well I've got the pink they look great against the black I think and the orange and then I've got the bright yellow so I'm going to put all those in now this is a lot thicker because I haven't watered this down because I haven't got time around I'm gonna add some lot of water this time hopefully encourage it to move in fact let's add some more water there all right let's see if this will work let's do some more smushing Get that water in there spread it out a bit 
let's see what we get. Lovely. I'm going to add some white actually. Oh, and I forgot to add the yellow. So a little bit of white. I will add the yellow. Just a little bit. Like it. You like it a lot. <sighs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> right now, just thought I'd show you that. Oh, so here we are. I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the ones I've done and I'll cut them up another time, I think. I just want to keep them like this at the moment. I love this one. I just, it's. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got such a lovely effect in it. Gorgeous. So that's done on the red paper. It's scrapbook paper. This is just done on cartridge paper. Love these colours. This one, I think, is my favourite. This is done on black paper. Or a card, actually. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just got so much detail in it. I absolutely love this. This is one of my first ones. And that turned out really quite well. The trouble was it's on fairly thin paper, but that's okay, I can glue it down. Oh, I love all these, these lacy bits here. Absolutely gorgeous. I might scan some of these. This one, I can see a demon eye and some hair, maybe a bushy eyebrow. So I might do something with that. I don't know what, but I love it as well. It's almost like it's in two halves. Fascinating that one is, I love it. Now this one, this is done on a black. It looks like a seagull has done its, its duty on that, I'm afraid. Kind of spoils it a little bit for me. I can always go in with some more colour and spin it again, perhaps some more of the red on top. So I could always do that. But these are the ones, this is on black as well. And this is the purple and teal colourway. Absolutely adore it. Really love it. And this one is okay, but I think that's a bit too, Dominant. I mean, I could go in and perhaps put some blue there and spin that out again. I might do that. This is another favourite of mine. Look at that. How similar is it to the one that I liked before? They are fairly similar. See, the ones on black paper or black card seem to be the ones I like the most. Yeah, that's really the yellows. And oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. This one's okay. What I do like about it is, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in on it because there's sort of striations within the paint. So it's probably because I had too much water on the surface. That's quite interesting. This one's got a nice marbled effect there. I love that. These I feel are a bit too dominant. I'd probably knock them back with some more color on that. And I did some square ones as well, because these were left over from after I cut the circle out of the piece of paper and I did, the teal and purple colourways again. I was experimenting with those because this is the first one I did, but I, as I was drying it, it turned over and got a bit messed up. The purple doesn't show, out very, show up very well against the dark paper. And, um, and here's another one, a bit more, you can see the purple a bit better on this one. So I think I, think I like this one the best. Oh, but they're great. Such a lot of fun, have a go yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Have a go yourself. It's really good fun. And these could be used in collage, all sorts of things. I'm going to turn them into ADCs once I can bear cutting them up. At the moment, I don't want to cut them up because I like them too much. But you can turn them into a little uh, circle journal and journal on top of them. You can just tear them up and use them as collage. Um, all sorts of things you can do with these. So um, it's not, oh, I just love it all. I love it all. So um, yes, come back next week. I'll probably be able to do a more um, normal art journal page next week. So thank you very much for watching me and I'll see you soon. Bye.